Once you've decided on a resin 3D printer, it's important to consider how you're going to post-process your prints. With the release of the Sonic Mighty 4K, Frozen has a new addition to their Frozen Cure line, the Frozen Cure Luna. This now stands as the largest consumer-priced UV cure station on the market. I'm James Hertz from MUO, and we're going to look at how the Cure Luna can offer a better post-cure process for your prints and whether it's worth investing in. With the Frozen Cure Luna, it's a mix of new and old design ideas. It now features the standard UV cover that you'll see on other post-processing accessories on the market, but Frozen stuck with the same touch panel that operates other Frozen Cure devices. It has a 360 degree rotating platform and its UV LED lights come from three different directions to provide an even cure for all of your prints. In terms of specs for the Frozen Cure Luna, it's all about size. The machine size is 28 by 28 by 40 centimeters, so it's just 4 centimeters shy of the Frozen Sonic Mighty 4K. In terms of inner capacity, it can handle 22 by 22 by 27 centimeters, and the machine itself only weighs 5 kilograms or roughly 11 pounds. For its ultraviolet light intensity, it comes in at 405 nanometers, which is pretty standard for other machines of this type on the market. Before talking about the operation of the Frozen Cure Luna, let's look at why you would purchase just a curing machine versus a 2-in-1 washing and curing machine. 2-in-1 washing and curing machines do a good job at reducing your exposure to resin, but they do come with some limitations. Foremost, there is a limit on the print sizes they can handle, so if you're dealing with larger 3D resin prints, they can't handle these. They also don't always work well with water washable resins. So if you're going to clean via an ultrasonic cleaner or a more traditional method like IPA, then you can still capitalize on the curing machine to get evenly cured prints every single time. In terms of operation, the Frozen Cure Luna is all about ease of use. Once you finish clean your resin print, you can place it on the 360 degree rotating platform and then go to the control panel here. The pink button power button serves as both your start and turn off button. The S button works in presets. While it goes to one minute by default, when you hit the presets, it's going to work in five, 10, and 20. When you go to the M, this is where you can either go up individually one by one with the up and down yellow arrows, or you can hold it up to a max of 120. Now keep in mind the Frozen Cure Luna operates in minutes. When you do go under a minute, it will result in a countdown timer, which will be in seconds. Another thing to keep in mind when operating the Frozen Cure Luna is there is a safety feature. If the UV hood is not flush with the bottom of the unit, then you won't be able to power it on until you correct it. Similarly, if you take the UV hood off, once you're removing your print, if you try and turn off the unit, it won't work, just to prevent you from accidentally turning it on. Now with the operation of the Cure Luna in mind, let's talk a little bit about the results. It's all about giving that evenly distributed cure across your models. So versus dealing with sunlight where the sun will change and you might end up with an uneven curing while leaving your model out for hours, you get a very clean finish every single time with the Frozen Cure Luna. In fact, when I did get it for testing, I got the perfect environment for it. It was cloudy and overcast, so you couldn't rely on natural sunlight at all. Instead, it was exclusively on the Frozen Cure Luna. So whenever using it, it was really easy just to put the model in, set an appropriate time, whether it was working with a small model, multiple model pieces, or a large model on the rotating platform. I got good results every time, and I think the results speak for themselves. So while the Cure Luna does give you an even cure and keeps you from being at the mercy of natural sunlight, there is a downside. The price point is not going to be appealing to everyone. With budget considerations like the UV cover here, it still comes in at $250. So it is a very large unit and you have to keep in mind post-processing equipment like this is not tied to a specific device. So if you're considering investing in other large resin 3D printers besides Frozen's Mighty 4K, then it's a good option to consider in the long run, but you're going to need to consider whether it's an investment for multiple printers or if it's just going to be a great time-saving option that you can capitalize on. So if you're going to fill a bill plate and want to cure a bunch of models at once, then you should consider the Frozen Cure Luna. 
So the question is, who is the Frozen Cure Luna aimed at? If you're after large resin 3D prints, and if you want a stable unit that can cure multiple models at once, then you should look at it if you want large size prints cured evenly, and if you want time saving measures. But if you're an absolute beginner when it comes to 3D printing, you can go with a more cost efficient option when it comes to post-processing. So if you're doing smaller miniatures, you may want to look at those two-in-one washing and curing units. A big thanks to Frozen for providing this testing unit again. For you watching, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them below and be sure to give us a like and subscribe if you like this content and would like to see more.